UPS Urban Patrol Script. What's up everybody? This is Gunter Serverlo. Today I'm going to show you how to install and set up the Urban Patrol Script by Kransky. And of course the script was released by Kransky back in 2013 for Arma 3. So let's go to the editor and we're going to go to Stratus. We're going to go down to Angel Marina and we're gonna set up a player all right we're gonna set up by the bridge here and we're gonna choose blue four and then we're gonna choose a grenadier as our player and next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to f2 and we're gonna go to o4 we'll leave it on csat a rifle squad right about here for now at this point we're just gonna save and we're gonna go down to Stratus and we're gonna name this UPS. All right, so what that'll do, that basically creates a folder because we'll need a folder for the script. So I'm gonna go to my desktop right now and we're going to install the script. Okay guys, here is our mission, UPS Urban Patrol Script dot Stratus. And when we open that up, I have put in the UPS script which is this, and it comes with the readme when you download it. I'll show you at the end of the video where you can download this script. So this is the script. What you're gonna do is, you're gonna open up the script. At the top, you can see it says Urban Patrol Script, and the author is Kronsky. And you got Kronsky's website. Uh, the required parameters is you need a unit or a group, basically to patrol an area. Then you need a marker name, and the name of the marker that covers the active area. And then of course you need the code to use. Now these are optional parameters. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna place down a marker. So let's go back into the mission. We're back in the editor. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to the map. We're gonna go to F6 for markers. And what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna place a marker so that this enemy AI squad has an area to patrol. So what we do is we're gonna choose the eclipse marker and we're just going to place it over the center of the town and there's two things you could do here you could either edit it by changing the size or you could use the area widget i like to use the area widget because it allows you to re resize the uh, markers dynamically so we'll make it this big pretty decent area we're gonna name the marker we're gonna name it mark nothing special what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab the code for the AI squad so once you get the code for from the UPS script then you just go to the squad leader of the squad go to his initialization box press control V and what you're gonna need to do is where it says town is Inside the quotes, you're going to name that Mark. Hit OK. So what will happen now is when the mission starts, this squad will work their way into the marker and just patrol it. So we're just going to save this and play test it and see how they do. All right, so we're going to go over here and kind of hide. I don't know where these guys are going to show up. So we're going to go to Spectator and basically they're over here and there they are they're patrolling so you don't know where they're gonna go they're just gonna patrol the whole uh, marker area Now what happens is if the squad leader, which happens to be this guy, if he gets killed, then the next in line of the squad, like the next rank, he will basically continue on with the patrol. All right, let's go back to the editor. Let's do this with a car. That would be interesting. Let's do this with a car. So we're gonna place another marker 
and we're going to expand this marker so that this car has an area to uh, drive in. Hopefully, he uses the roads. And then we're going to name this mark one and then we're going to place a car cars we'll, we'll put down a hunter we'll place this guy up here and face him this way so this guy is also going to need a code with this you have to put the code in the driver's seat I believe and then you gotta make sure that you're using the right marker so this one was mark one so that's it for that one and what we're also gonna do is let's put a boat so we're gonna get a boat and let's use a speed boat with the mini gun face him this way and what we're gonna do is since I have the code on my clipboard I can control V we'll make this marker mark 3 mark 3 and that'll be it for that part and then we just need the marker so we're gonna have him patrol the marina bay And we'll make this Mark Two. What do we name this guy? Make this Mark Two. And that's it. So we'll save it. And then we'll play and see what these guys do. These guys hear something. really moving but of course they were engaged right away so that concludes that I think you get the idea so you could do it with boats helicopters cars pretty much anything as long as you have marker defined the vehicle boat etc will stay within that marker and if you're outside of the marker and they're in the marker they will actually seek you out so it's pretty pretty versatile that concludes the little demonstration here what I want to do is let's go to the mission folder and I want to show you the script itself and some information with it. All right, guys, we are back in the folder of the mission. You just need this code and then any optional parameters, you could add those in there. Below the parameters, if you scroll down, so basically this is how far O4 should move away if they're under attack. And by default, it's uh, 75 meters away from the area. Um, that's more like urban. 
that's hence the name urban patrol script so if you want to increase this number you can and then down below this one it says how close unit has to be to target to generate a new one and then that's you know they have 10 here how close units have to be to each other to share information this is 100 meters so you can increase or decrease that how long ai units should be in alert mode after initially spotting an enemy define alert time which is 180 seconds the rest of this stuff you don't really need to worry about i'll include this readme and here is the readme that comes with the script urban patrol script 2013 Kronsky, that's when Kronsky released it for Arma 3. Alright, so I'm going to zip this up and I'm going to upload this to my Google Drive and I'll link it in the description of the video. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to go to Google here and I'll also link the website Kronsky PS script. And it'll be at the top so you could go Kransky UPS script I'll just link the uh, website so this is the page for Kransky's urban patrol script it goes back to the OFP days when I started using it I used it for Arma 1 if you guys want to download it from his website here all you do is you click to keep the 220 here and you could just basically save it to wherever you want and then here's the link to the forum thread on BI forms, which will give more detailed information. But basically you scroll down and it'll talk about the setup, AI behavior, Intel options. It gives a, an example of the type of pass and what will happen. Editor setup. That's it. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys learned something and uh, find this script useful in your missions. I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye.